guys hope you're all doing well so I'm coming to you with some more new shit um and yeah let's get into it so most of these things came from Ulta uh, I got a couple things from Walmart whatever um and most of it was on sale or was a point perk and that's why I picked it up let's just share so I just want to share some things you guys know I love sharing hauls so the first thing is um so I own a lot of sheet masks I own a lot of sheet masks because they're usually fairly cheap and I enjoy doing them but I was like I don't own like I cleaned out all my stuff I don't own any like peel off masks or whatever uh, so I got this. This was only $12 at Ulta. And this is the Freeman Best in Glow Face Mask Kit. You get five 1.5 fluid ounce tubes. Um, a face mask. And you have in here, uh, this pink one is a peel off gel mask. Okay, cleansing. Then you have clearing peel off clay mask. You have a soothing just gel mask. You have a hydrating gel cream mask. And then you have an anti-stress clay mask. And i um, very excited. So I really love a sheet mask. I do enjoy a sheet mask. But I feel like these give your skin a little bit more oomph. And as well as the, you ain't got to worry about them staying on or falling off your face or what have you. So definitely pick those up. And I'm very excited about it. Because part of my October self-care goals is to um, do masks like twice. I want to do two to three times a week. Oh, sorry, I had to get something. Two to three times a week. Um, so, okay. Yes, I set I set goal, self-care goal. I, I do all that. All right. Um, let's go. I have a couple face things here um, because they were just interesting to me. So, at Ulta, this was on sale. I think it was, oh, the fall haul. Wet and Wild was like 40% off or whatever. I watched the Emily Noel 83 video. Y'all know I love her. And she was raving about the Wet and Wild setting powder. Now, I have the shade in deep. Medi number two. Wh whatever. The dark. This is Banana. I don't have this one. And this was on sale the fall haul for like $3 or less. I didn't use it yet. But this is a large, large banana style powder. It, it is very similar in shade to my La Mercier powder. And so we're going to give it a go because the La Mercier one is $30, 30 plus dollars, $38. And this one was three. And full price is like five bucks. So we always looking for a cheap deep. Okay. So I picked that up. And then at Walmart, I was in Walmart getting cat food. <laughs> She's right there. Um, I saw these Radiance Bricks from Rimmel London. You know what they remind me of? The Rimmel, that Stay Mad powder and like that swirly powder back in the day. Old school. These were $3 a piece. And they're Radiance Bricks. So it's called Multitonal Shimmer Powder. Now, um... I, I got all three, light, medium, and dark, because they all look like I can make it work. So, this light one, let me show you, as I'm about to swatch it. It's not a highlighter, it's more of just a glowy powder. Um, Like, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. It's not as intense as a highlighter. Like, even this light one, if I want a subtle glow from within glow, it's not ashy. It's absolutely beautiful because you can see it's like based in like browns and stuff. Um, but anyway, it's like five strips of color. This is medium. Yeah, and I'm very excited about them. Three dollars. So we have this this shimmer multi-dimensional. This is the deeper one. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on this side. And it's like it reminds me of the um. See. It's just like a glowy, you can barely see. Um, the Laura Mercier, <laughs> not the Laura Mercier, that Candle Glow baked powder that I love so much. Um, so I picked those up. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. We'll do the, we'll do the, the, no, we'll do the palettes next. So, <laughs> um, just shopping. Things came from everywhere. This came from Five Below. This is the brand W7, which is a very decent dupe type of brand. Um, and I saw this Bronze Brilliance, Bronze and Glow face palette they had like two different shades like a light and dark and so you get a matte contour shade in here which is definitely deep and cool enough for me and then you get these three beautifully like almost they look baked but beautifully swirled uh highlighters and I was like okay okay so for like what five dollars pick that up because you know just be pushing, putting things in my cart. 
All right, this Nutella, I don't know um, if I showed you guys this, and I can't remember, but we're going to show it again. So this is very interesting to me. This is the Morphe and Ashley Strong uh, collab. I don't know who Ashley Strong is. I learned at Ulta that she won, I don't know, James Charles had like an influencer competition, and she was the winner, I guess. But anyway, collab. Um, and this, she has an eyeshadow palette and another little kit. And then she has this cake liner palette. I do love cake liners. So if you're not familiar with cake liners, they are, they usually come in jars. They usually come in jars. Um, and they are eyeliner that are water activated. So when they're not being used, they harden and they're this cake, this just cake Okay, this hardened, um, and they tend to last longer because they don't dry out like, uh, gel or cream liners and then you just spritz them with water. Some people use a fix plus, a mi mixing medium, and they turn into a liquid liner that you can then use. With that being said, they're not waterproof because they're water activated, but whatever. So this is the Alignment Cake Liner palette. So these are cake liners, and if you can see on there, you see the brush plus water, wet your brush, and then dip in. I've used one of these already. I've used this brown. It's beautiful. Um, it worked just, it, I only used that shade, so I can't talk about the other shades, but you get some really pretty shades in here. You get a cl classic brown, black, and navy blue, and then you get some unique shades. You get a, um, I don't want to say baby poop green, but baby poop green, two other greens. Um, hi mama. She's sitting right next to me. So, I was really excited, and so I didn't spray my brush, um, in, I didn't spray the pan. You, you probably shouldn't because you don't want to make a mess. But I sprayed my brush and literally just swirled it in the pan and swirled it in the pan and I used my liner and it worked just fine. So this is like, this was $14 I think at Ulta. Very excited about it. Alright, then we got some holiday palettes. Okay. Um, Too Faced. I got quite a few Too Faced items in here because they were five times points um, at Ulta. So I like, I try to buy my high end of when there's a point perk or sale because we want to stretch our coin. So I picked up the Forbidden Fruit Cake mini palette. I love these mini palettes. My granddad loved fruit cake. My granddad's passed on, but he loved fruit cake during the holidays. I think it's absolutely gross. I think everyone in my family thinks it's gross, but he loved fruit cake. Him and his friends would like mail each other fruit cakes, and and he loved fruit cake. And so this kind of reminds me of my granddad, and it's, it's kind of sweet. But the palette itself is cute on the inside. Oof. You get three. Uh, metallics and four mattes, five mattes. I can't count. This is an eight pan palette, and I like this um, a little bit better than where it's like those two smaller ones. And the, I like everything being uniform in this. Um, absolutely pretty. No, I haven't used it yet, but this is a very nice. I mean, we gonna get a bomb look with it. Okay, and then I picked up the cinnamon swirl. I told I was talking to someone in my DMs because I posted the picture of this. Um, like I post stuff on my you know my Instagram stories, just like makeup releases. And I, sometimes I comment, like I put a caption, like if I'm gonna get it or not. Other times I just post repost the post on my stories, and people ask, well, "What do you think about it?" This one I was like, "It's boring as hell," but I'm probably gonna get it. <laughs> and this is the Too Faced cinnamon swirl. And in the pictures, it looked much more boring than in person. It's still a neutral palette however I was hesitant because these even with my lights they look washed out these look so much lighter in the pictures than they do in person so like flower power this one here looks straight white and it's not white it's a light uh it's a light pinky it's, it's pink like a pink in it uh, and then we have all these beautiful lid shades and metallic so I'm glad I picked it up and I saw it in store um it's still boring let's keep it real it's still it's still you know there is a, a, a target audience for this, um, and I, it's not me, but I'm really glad I got it because I like collecting the Too Faced palettes. I love the theme. I don't really get the cinnamon swirl. I'm a little upset about that, but we have this. No, I haven't used this one yet. I have not used this one yet. But this last new palette, uh, I have two palettes coming from Makeup Revolution. They're Forever Flawless palettes. They have two new ones out. Mm, uh, and then I have... The, uh, the new Beauty Age of Opulence palette, Beauty Bay, because I wasn't missing out on that one. Um, and I don't know, something else coming, y'all. Something else, I don't know. Okay, so this, I picked this up. This is the Morphe, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. Say what you want um, about Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. I'm trying to dive into this rabbit hole. 
Um, but I enjoy Morphe and Jaclyn Hill's formula of eyeshadows. I, I, I do. It's not like, oh, they're my top favorite, but I don't have problems with them at all. I'm wearing this palette today. I did this soft glam all matte look. Yes, I filmed it. I don't know what order these videos will be up. Just, just bear with me. But I did this full look with just this palette, just the top row of mattes. I think this palette... This is a boring neutral palette, but I think it's beautiful, especially for my dark skin tones, because everybody don't want no black smoky eye. You're going to get a good, deep brown smoky eye here. The bottom row, you have your metallics. Um, you have your metallics. Some of them are actually, they're not as close in color as I was expecting them to be from the pictures online, because you know, like with Morphe, they give you three of the same shade in the palette. I think it's a good shape. I think it's a good size. Um, again, it's not a full review, because I just wore it once. I did the mattes, but... It is what it is. It was eighteen dollars, um, and I'm glad I picked it up because so far it's proven to be a really nice neutral palette, at least with the mattes, anyway. Okay, okay. Now let's get into the other eye stuff. Let's okay, so I picked up this because this was on clearance for three dollars or five dollars. The Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. I got the shade Caramel. Haven't even taken the plastic off of it. Have even it's one of the spongy type. Wow, mm, I'm tripping. Yeah, it's one of the twist up spongy type concealers. I'll I'll report back. But all right, so eyeliners and eyebrow stuff, y'all. Okay, very excited. If you watch, uh, I don't know what video I'm gonna put up first. The get ready with me probably not because I tell the story of finding new brow products. But anyway, I'm gonna do a quick one. Too Faced with five times points. I saw they had new brow stuff, and I saw this pomade in a pencil. And first, of the packaging is so cute. And this is their brow shaper and filler. I got the shade dark brown. I was like, oh, I'm gonna try this out. Now, when I was shopping, <laughs> the first time I went into the store, when I was when I was shopping, oh, I'm trying to get it out. I saw this and knew I wanted this, but accidentally picked up the super fine brow detailer, and I didn't realize till I got home. So I was like, oh, okay. I could not stop thinking about this pomade and the pencil because I was like, that is awesome. If it works, you know, whatever. And then I went into the next section because they were on sale as well. And I got some more pomade and the pencil type products. So let's just go through it. So the Too Faced products here, this is the pomade and a pencil brow shaper and filler in the shade dark brown. So what this is, now I haven't used this one yet. What this is, is a pencil, I keep saying pomade and a pencil. I love brow pomade. I use dip brow to do my brows. I got a lot of, I got not a lot of brow, but I like a bigger brow. And so um, the idea of a pencil would be so convenient. If I get the same look, I was just very excited about it. So I will use... I haven't used that one yet because I had to go back to the store and get it. But I have used, I'm kind of going back and forth. I have used the NYX one, which I will talk about in a minute. We finished with Too Faced. <laughs> so this brow pencil, again, I bought it by mistake and I was like, well, I didn't want to return it. it. Well, it's not that I didn't want to return it, but I'm like, all right, we're trying new brow products. So this is the super fine brow detailer. Um, and this is in the shade dark brown as well. So this is a skinnier brow pencil. So, dark brown, okay. And this, I did buy on purpose. This is, I heard great things about it. And again, I usually wait for like point perks and stuff because I have a lot of eyeliners to go through. This is the Better Than Sex Eyeliner. I, I don't know if you guys thought I had this, but in my mind, like it's something I probably should have had for a while knowing me. Um, and so I got it in black is black. I think that's the only color this comes in. It's their liquid liner. Um, can I get it out of the package? Probably not. <laughs> it's their liquid liner, and I've heard great things about it. So, very excited to try Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Very excited, and I really like the pink. It's an aesthetic. It, it's a mood right now. I'm loving this packaging. It's a mood. It, it's, a, it's, it's everything right now. Okay, and then before I get into the next ones, um, I also, this was on sale at Ulta, like I told you, Wet n Wild was like 40% off, and this is the Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Heard great things about this liner as well. I am in the process of decluttering my makeup collection. It's about that time before the holidays. I usually do it at the beginning of the year, like spring-ish, where IMAX used to be, and then I do it around the holidays. Um, that's just when I do it, and... It's time to, you know, throw out dry eyeliner, so mascaras. So, I'm really excited. 
So, I picked up with NYX. NYX was like, buy one, get one half off. I picked up a second, a backup of the, well, I'm almost out of it. This is the Dip Shape Go Longwear Brow Pomade. So, this is not pomade in a pencil, but this is that three-in-one. Um, so, you get, it's a, it looks like a large pencil. I'm not going to open this one. This is my backup. You have some pomade in the bottom. You, it comes with a brush. You unscrew. Then there's a spoolie at the top. It's an all-in-one situation. Um, and I got the shade Chocolate because that's my brow shade. I really like that. I use a different brush. This brush is a little thick. I use a different brush with it, but I love the tone of it, the color of it, and it's a good pomade. Okay, but again, it's not in a pencil, so. But I did pick that up. Mm -hmm. And so, with the NYX, these are not new. They've been out for a while, but, again, never purchased them. And then I was just looking around, and all of a sudden, I was like, pull me in a pencil. Like, I really, it really, like, blew my mind. I don't know why. Because I love brow pomade, and I'm like, oh, my God, with the ease of a pencil. Because most brow, brow, um, pencils that are skinny, they're a little bit drier, because you're doing that you know those brush strokes I ain't got time to do individual hair strokes because I got a lot of hair I'm, I got a lot of hair I'm growing in three minutes um and so there is one pencil the elf brow pencil that kind of feels like a pomade in a pencil but it's a very thick it's a very thick pencil it's not slim like these so anyway NYX has a pomade pencil it's called an eyebrow pomade pencil fill and fluff and this is what it looks like this is the shade chocolate I've already like use this I've been using this since I've gotten it I have it on my brows today and my brows look like they are made with more than what they did and it it feels just like a pomade but it's a pencil and I get my did my brows so fast in the get ready with me with this look I did them on camera I mean I take like 10 minutes to do my brows it took maybe five and I was talking so half the time so this shade is chocolate and so this is what it looks like. This is what's in my brows now. But I also got, so that's the shade. And then I also picked up Brunette. Because um, maybe I can do ombre situation. Some people do lighter and we'll see. And then I also picked up Clear simply because I was interested in it. So um, this pencil has this weird brush that I don't use. I tried it. It does nothing for me. So it's this weird type of fluffy brush and I think it'll do well for people who have fluffier brows to brush those hairs. I still need to use a spoolie for me. Um, but I'm very excited about it. And so, yeah, very excited about my new items. Um, like I said, I have my NYX Shine Louds. Those liquid, the liquid, two-part liquid lipsticks with the gloss for, from NYX that don't transfer the color that I love. Finished that collection, so NYX had a sale on stuff. It was like a site-wide sale, and I was missing eight of them. And so I picked up seven because one of them was still out of stock. And when I tell you it was out of stock, it was out of stock everywhere. And then I happened to be browsing on Ulta, as I always do, and it was in stock. And so I ordered that lip product, so that lip one, um, that's the last shade, so I have all of those. And Makeup Revolution came out with two new Forever Flawless palettes, and they're on the way. I'm probably not going to do another haul video just with that. And I, um, I have a couple Beauty Bay palettes, like I said. So, very excited. Uh, but thanks for sharing. Um, again, if you see this makeup and shirt a few times today, we are getting through these videos, getting through this filming. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any other products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave them down below. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!